let's make a note that my shoes are off the machine. Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I am Farron, your fashion guru. Today we're going to be learning about sleeves. There are two easy ways of sewing in a sleeve and I'm going to be showing you both of those methods. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe down below there and hit the little bell so we can be friends. Let's get started. <laughs> you better not put that in. So this is my fashion studio. My name is Farron. Last week, we were working on the collar and the facing. But this week, we're gonna be learning two ways of sewing in a sleeve. The first thing I like to do is take my sleeve pieces to the iron. Prep the hem allowance at one and a quarter inches. This is according to the pattern. So read your pattern and it will tell you how much you need to roll up the hem. But there's a tip. You get a ruler and you iron it up to the point of one and a quarter inches. And then use this edge to get a nice crisp edge on your hem here. First, I fold it at one and a quarter inches and iron that, and then I roll it in another quarter of an inch and then iron it again. After that is done, you take those pieces and we can finally get to sewing them in at the sewing machine. Next! Okay, we're gonna take the shirt and your sleeve, we're gonna match the notches on the shirt, okay? You have to look at your sleeve. There are double notches on the back of your sleeve, okay? This matches to the back of your body. This notch right here on the center, there's a single notch here that matches at your shoulder. There's also a single notch here, which matches at the front of your body. So we take this right sides together. This is the front right side, and this is the sleeve right side. And you put this notch with this notch, and then you give that a little pin. Give that a pin here. We're gonna be sewing the flat method. This method doesn't work for all styles, okay? Sometimes there's too much ease in the cap and it doesn't really work out very well. For, for jackets and coats and blazers and those types of things that have, that have a little more ease in the cap, this is something that you would use the other method, an inset sleeve method. Did you get that? Do you understand? Not yet? We learn by doing, okay? So let's just do this. You match this notch with this shoulder seam. This double notch with this double notch. Okay, once you have all of those notches matched, all your other pins are going to be eased in, okay? See that? Looks a little big. We need to pull this side of your fabric and ease that in. Oh, and then it matches. When you actually get to the machine, that's when all the magic happens. And it just fits together beautifully. Here we go, we're gonna put this in the machine. What you could do is you could baste it first and then stitch it properly. Or you could just go for it. So this is a commercial pattern, so we're sewing at 5 eighths of an inch. I like to space out my fingers a little bit, pull the bottom piece, which is the body and not the sleeve, to ease in the piece of the sleeve. I hope it makes sense. All right. Woohoo! Just checking my notches. It's great. Looking good. Once that is done, you take this to the serger. If you don't have a serger, that's okay. You can do a zigzag. If you don't have a zigzag, 
you could really just do another stay stitch here. Your sleeve looks like this right now. Okay, this is a massive sleeve. I get it, it's a bit 80s. So this is the sleeve and it we sewed it in, we sewed it. We had stitched it in on a flat method, basically. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> this is easier than a set-in sleeve. So here's what you do next. You take this and you match your hems and make sure that the sleeve seam matches under the arm. So pin that. Listen, press your seam allowance going this way, okay? Out towards your sleeve, not towards the body. Don't do that. This way. This is the way that your arm goes into your sleeve. Seam allowance goes that way. Match your notches all the way down the body. And what do we got here? We actually have a drill hole. So because this, this shirt has a curved hem and kind of like a slit on the side, there is a drill hole, which means we have to stop our stitches there. This seam right here that we're gonna be sewing is the underarm seam right here, okay? and stitch at five eighths. If you serge those pieces together, you're gonna to have seam allowance that's gonna go either to the right or to the left, okay? This seam allowance moves towards the back of the body, so push that seam allowance towards the back. Now, we're going to hem the sleeve just because it's here and isn't that great? We don't even have to think where our hem allowance is. It's already been pressed. So just fold that down the quarter and matching where you've creased the line. See that? Yeah. We're gonna give that an old pin here, right at the seam. Ow, I pinned my finger. Okay, so you take this underneath the machine, lining up your inside of your presser foot with the folded edge of your hem. Please, if you could do anything, start and stop underneath the arm so you don't see it. You don't see your back tacking. It's great. Yeah. So satisfying having a nice crisp folded edge. So great. So great. <laughs> it's huge. Okay, so the next method is a set-in sleeve. Okay, the difference is you have to sew the side seams first before you go to the sleeve at all. And then you sew the underarm seam on the sleeve, which we'll do. We'll get to. And back tack. this to the serger. We're almost done, oh my god! The next step to this inset sleeve is to sew this seam right here, which is the underseam of the sleeve, and we start from the underarm to the hem. All right, now that you've done that, you might wanna serge this. Surgy serge. After you've surged, what I like to do is to do a basting stitch from the back notch to the front notch. This helps with easing in the cap of your sleeve, especially for a set-in sleeve. This is very important. Let's do a basting stitch, which means you turn it to four or five on your machine for the stitch length. Take this piece at the back of notches, start at the back notches at a quarter of an inch. No back tagging. Here's another trick. What you can do if you need your sewing machine to gather a little more fabric underneath the machine, you take a little bit of your fabric and you push it up against your presser foot. 
This actually gives more tension to the presser foot and the fabric, and the fabric starts picking up more underneath the presser foot. This is actually good right around the calf area. And then just baste to the end until you get to the front notch, okay? No back tacking. Take that out. There you go. So check that out, see? See how it likes to roll on the top here? Like it has this nice curve. That's because we gathered it a lot more on the top. Okay. Okay, right sides together first, which means you gotta flip this guy right side to your shirt, matching your inseam here, and pushing your seam allowance towards the back of the shirt. Pinning your seam. And then match your notches. Same thing that we did on the other side. We're basically just doing it on the other one. Pin that evenly around. And then once you've done that, you go to the machine. The body of your shirt always goes underneath. The top is always your sleeve, okay? It's easier to see how you're easing in and you can pull the bottom half, which is the body. Don't forget to change your stitch length back to 2.5. So the seam allowance just clipped that a little bit on the cap and around underneath the arm. Sometimes that helps because there's a lot of tension there. You wanna relieve some of that fabric tension. Then you take this to the serger. After that, easy breezy hemming. Ding! Like, that's it for me today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell because next week we're gonna be learning about hems. We're gonna learn about this foot right here. This is awesome and a very good tool to have in your toolbox. And I'll show you how to use this next week. Thanks for watching. This is your fashion guru. Signing off. I'm so over this shirt.